Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to test your water for ammonia in a freshwater aquarium. Ammonia, when you have any level of it in your tank, can be quite toxic and can harm your fish, giving us something called ammonia burn. So you really want to make sure that you know how to test it to make sure that it is at zero. I thought that it would be a good time to make this video because I just added some new fish to my tank quite recently, and whenever you add new fish to your aquarium, you have to start the cycle all over again. So I figured that this was a good time to do it because if I was going to have any ammonia in my tank, now would be the time. The most common ammonia test kit that you're going to find is going to be from API and it is just going to be the ammonia test kit. In this box, you're going to find two charts that are color charts for you to compare your ammonia to. One is going to be for salt water and one will be for fresh water. You will find two liquid test solution bottles and you will also find a test tube. There will also be a warning sheet and instruction manual in here as well. Um, it is important to read those through. Now the last thing that I'm going to show you that I find very beneficial when you're testing your aquarium water, um, it does not come in the kit, but I do find it very handy, and that is just a small dropper. It's basically a mini turkey baster. You can probably find this in any baby aisle, because um, usually it's for baby medicine, and I find that it's very handy in effectively scooping the water from your tank and putting it into this tiny tube. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take the water from your aquarium and you're gonna put it into the test tube. When you're putting the water in the test tube, no matter how you decide to do this, whether it's just scooping it out or using an eyedropper, you really wanna make sure that you have the tube at eye level so you can accurately put the amount of water in there. You wanna make sure that the bottom of the meniscus, which is that little dip in the level of water, you wanna make sure that that is what is sitting at the fill line. The next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to add eight drops of test solution number one into the vial of water. These bottles do have child-proof caps, so you're gonna to wanna to slide the little red tab to the left in order to get the cap off. When you add the eight drops of the solution to the vial, you wanna make sure that you hold the bottle completely vertical so that all of your drops are uniform. If you hold the bottle at an angle, you run the risk of the drops being different sizes and getting slightly inaccurate results. Now the next step is you're going to want to add another 8 drops of test solution 2. When you've added eight drops of each test solution in the correct order, you're going to want to put the cap on your vial and shake it vigorously. This will accurately mix up the chemicals and make sure you get the chemical reaction that you want. Um, if you don't shake it up enough, you might not get the correct results. Once your solution has been mixed, just put it off to the side and you're going to want to leave it for about five minutes. The color will start to develop if it hasn't already. The last step is literally just to compare it to the color chart for the type of aquarium that you have. In this case, it is a freshwater aquarium, so I'm going to use the freshwater color chart. When you compare your vial to the color chart, you're going to want to make sure that you have the vial up against the white of the sheet. If you don't do this, as you can see by my demonstration with the blue wall here, the color will look quite differently than what it actually is when it is against a colored wall. As you can tell by my results here, my ammonia is not at zero but it also is not a high amount. It was actually kind of expected though, because like I said, I'm at a new portion of my cycle and I'm due to clean my tank anyways. It is not quite the color of 0.25 parts per million. However, it is definitely not zero either. So I would say is it somewhere in between, possibly 0.15. While this level is not gonna cause immediate harm to my fish, it's definitely something that means an immediate water change is in order. But thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you learned how to test your aquarium water for ammonia at home. It honestly is not hard at all. It is very easy and you will be able to get a hang of it right away. 
I have a how-to playlist on my channel and I'll put that on the end screen, which will pop up in just a few moments. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and make sure you hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload. But that is all for today and hope to see you again soon. Bye guys!